Hi, I'm David from Ideas Man, and today I'm going to talk about using Content Constellation to create viral image galleries. Uh, this system is about turning any list of information into an image gallery and creating viral sharing. So to start off with, I just did a search for lists, and in this case I just did top 10 cafes in Sydney uh, in Google, and I picked the second list. And that's what it looked like when I went over to the website. It was just 10 cafes, information about the title, where they were, and a little bit of a description. I basically just selected that data into a text editor, massaged it a little bit, and it went straight into an Excel list for, uh, for creating our images. The next step is I went over to Flickr. And at Flickr, I just typed in food. I thought, okay, we'll do images around food if we're doing cafes. I made sure that the images I selected were uh, allowable for commercial use and that modifications could be made to the images. Now, as soon as I found images that I liked, I would just click on them. They'd open up in a new window and then I could select the URL of the image. With each of the images I selected, I would paste them straight into the Content Constellation download list and gather the Flickr information. Now what that would do is automatically populate each of the images with the original image and information from Creative Commons such as the author and the title. And this you need to apply if you're going to use an image, you need to credit it back to the author. Now from there, move over a little bit further in the configuration and you can se select various sizes that you would like the image to be. Now by default they're always 672 wide which is the size of a WordPress featured image but you can see with this example I've also included a couple of extra sizes 800 and 350. You'll see there's a download and resize images you just click that button and all the images come down into a folder within the system. You can see this first image, the coffee cup, has also been downloaded in the three different sizes that I selected. From there, we, we click on the Build CSV from Generated Images. Essentially, all the images we've selected are now ready for upload to WordPress. Uh, there's an Upload Bulk Images, we press that and all those images that you can see there are selected and start publishing into the WordPress website. Now you can see that in action. Here is the WordPress media library and the bottom image which is the coffee cup you can see that it's uploaded but also that its meta descriptions are also uploaded and this is great for search engine optimization around images. Now, with these images, we're actually going to create a responsive image gallery. So I've picked an existing one, the Robin, the Robin Williams Gallery, and I've clicked the Clone button, and we're going to call it Top 10 Sydney Cafes. Now, from there, we can fill in some extra information that we might want applied globally to the gallery, such as the Pinterest settings. Now Pinterest is vital for the viral aspect of these galleries and you want to do a Pinterest URL that will draw people back to the images and create kind of a viral loop and in this case I've drawn them back to the same board that the images are going to ultimately be pinned onto. Next we create some sort of featured image that will show up when people are searching for articles within the blog gallery. Uh, notice that it's a branded image as well. And we can just simply then click the process article button, include the uploaded image, and what will happen is a new article will be created up on the website. So you can see this is actually related to other photo galleries. There's an old one on the right around Robin Williams uh, funny quotes. This is the new one, Top 10 Cafes in Sydney. And when you click on that, you'll come to a responsive image gallery that'll show all your images that will resize to any device. You can also notice that if you hover over one of them, I've picked Redfern here, that information about the original image also shows up. You can click on those links and that'll take you over to Flickr. A little bit further to the right is the Pinterest button. And if you click on that, it automatically 
opens up a share dialog. Now this is great if you've got virtual assistants, all they need to do is click it, all the information is filled in automatically. They didn't need to type any of this information, it took all the meta description, it took the extra information that we wanted for viral sharing, and all they've got to do is hit the pin button. To see what that really means is with a smaller system such as the Who Loves Boards, we got 2,526 repins just last week, but the average is around 1,500 repins a week. So images up on these boards are being pinned by the general public at, fi at a rate of 1,500 a week. Anyway, I'm David from Ideas Man. You can contact me through 99 Tech Guru on Facebook.